everybody, welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to make food with my mother-in-law. Her name's Fifita, and we are going to make which is corned beef and gravy mm -hmm. in English. And it's really good, it's delicious, but she's also teaching me something. I It's her own little recipe, and it's going to include curry and tomatoes, and maybe some onions, yeah. and as you can see right here, she has cut up, what'd she say? Dalo. Dalo. Dalo is taro. You guys know taro, the roots. She's already skinned it, and then she chopped it up into small like pieces. So the point of this is we're going to boil it, and it's going to get super soft, like potato. Then add a coconut milk. And then we're going to add um, coconut milk, mm -hmm. which will look let you look like this, okay? Cooking up. Okay, so my mom is preparing some garlic. She's gonna peel some. By the way, mom, tell them where you're from. I'm from Tonga. My mom is Tongan, that's my yeah. mother-in-law. So that's what she meant when she said corned beef and gravy, it was in Tongan. I've learned that butter knives is better to use to cut tomatoes with than other knives. Show you. Just look at that. It's so easy. Right now, she turned the stove on to sort of medium high. And then she prefers olive oil to cook the corned beef. Okay. So first we're putting the garlic. Okay. And the thalo is cooking in there, it's boiling. So once the garlic begins to brown just slightly, garlic cooks really fast. You, have, you only have to wait one minute or 30 seconds really, depending how high you're cooking on. And then she added the tomatoes. Look how beautiful I cut those tomatoes. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, so what she did is took the corned beef out the can and separated just a bit. And now she's going to add flour. Okay, as you can see, so she separated it, then she poured flour over it because it's going to thicken the gravy. And then now she's putting garlic powder and black pepper, just for a little bit more taste. That's it, and then you have to mix it. Mom, tell us a, a favorite dish you love that's Tongan. Favorite Tongan dish? Um, favorite Tongan dish? Mm -hmm. I think Tongan dish is only Lu. Lu! What else? Yes, Lu is delicious. So now we're putting the yellow curry. One spoon. Do you need any water? Not now. Not right now. The salo is still boiling. Okay. Then the corned beef. Ah, it smells so good. It's almost like a sweet. It kind of smells sweet. Mmm. Stand right there. Introduce yourself. We are investors. What's your name? Ava. This is my niece, Ava. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. What are we eating? Fresh 
breakfast. No, we're eating corned beef. Corned beef. Say corned beef. Corned beef. And thalo. Thalo. Yes. Okay, Look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. So my mom, she used hot water to put in to create the gravy like texture. Don't just put any water, you put hot water. What does the hot water do? Oh. <laughs> she just remembers the recipe and you use hot water. <laughs> I'm talking to the viewers, to my million subscribers. Say hi, million subscribers. Hi, million subscribers. Yeah, that's talking into the future. And that's still going. Still going strong. Look at that. It's going to get all soft and delicious. This thing is ready. Wow. It's done? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's done. But we leave it here for like uh, 10 more minutes. Close it. Yeah, it's done. Can you see? Hey guys, um, before we continue with the delicious food and finish with my mother-in-law, I thought I would catch you guys up on where I've been. I've actually been doing something pretty amazing. Drum roll. I have started an organization. It is, um, <laughs> it is still fairly new organization. I have started with um, a great team behind me, great minds. I love my team. Um, and our organization is called Allies United for Action. We came up with that name because at a time like this, we forget that, that we do have people on our side. And you can easily just get caught up into um, the world and social media I definitely have um, and you just you sort of look at people the same as what you see mostly on social media and that is sad because not everyone is definitely like that um, so that's why we came up with our names allies united for action with everything that's happening it has affected me in a way that I just ignored the world, I guess you would say. I was affected in my way, and I couldn't record for you guys, make videos like that. Again, we are still new, so our we have a, a team behind us that is creating our website, um, and I have a partner with me as well. I, I didn't come up with this organization by myself. Um, I met this beautiful woman through Facebook, and her name is Serena. You guys will meet her. Um, we actually have plans to start a new YouTube channel specifically for our organization so you guys could be up to date. We're hoping to um, interview a few important people and to have that in, um, those important conversations to make a change. I really want to tell you more, but I think I'm going to save it um, because it's a lot. Of, it's going to be a lot, okay? There's a lot going on. Um, and that is also why I haven't been around because once I realized, whoa, I started this organization with somebody and like right after we got a team, a content creating team, things just started going super fast. So I'm just like, okay guys, like I just started YouTube, but I have this going. So, okay, let me, let me start this a little bit. Let me, let us figure out what we're about um get our logo and all that and then now that we have that now they're like great they're doing the website and i can come back and let you guys know where i've been so that's where i've been enjoy the rest of the video guys thanks for listening for the brief little explanation and i hope to see you guys soon or i will see you guys soon on my next video after this but let's continue watching Okay guys, the food is ready. We are going to check this out. I'm so excited. Look at that delicious gravy. Mm. It's when it sits, obviously you guys know the oil and everything rises. So you just mix it a little. It's hard to talk while you're messing with food. It's just, what you want to do is eat. And this is the dollar. Look at that. You see how soft? 
and it was it's it's just like a potato. Look at that taro and coconut. Coconut milk. There you go. Hit you now. It's so creamy. It's so good. I don't know what else to tell you, but don't come. I, 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 if I got some picky followers, if I start getting some picky followers and y'all like that look funny, don't judge nothing until you try it. I have picky family, picky cousin say the same thing, but when they eat it, they're like, ooh. Your taste buds don't know what hit them. There's so much out there. There's so many flavors, so many seasonings. Ugh, don't knock it till you try it, okay? Now, second opinion. My niece is gonna try it, son. Hey, hey. What's your name again? Avis. Avis is gonna try some. Let them know. Does it taste? Yummy. Mm, yummy? Mmm. Mm. I'm ready to eat. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you next time. See you next time. Do you want? Okay. Come here. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to make food with my mother-in-law. Her name's Fifita, and we are going to make. Um. <laughs> you forgot tongue and what? Let's try again. Let's start again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This is my mother-in-law. Her name is Fifita, and she's going to teach us how to make. <laughs> Mom! <laughs>